cake paint combines the beautiful, bright, bold colour and feel of gouache paint with the ease of use and beauty of watercolour pans and feels a little bit like acrylic too and once it's dry behaves in the way that it layers like acrylic like a really gorgeous matte bold acrylic and this is the latest of my palettes this is called food truck and it has fun names for delicious foods that you might find at a carnival the food truck palette joins a suite of other layer cake colors we have the original palettes with the ice cream slice and the rainbow cake the metallic and pearlescent lustrous eclairs the neon and pastel lollies palette the sushi roll palette which is a combination of muted colors and beige so it's a great one for portraits and the new food truck is another combination of neutrals and really bright popping colors one of the other fabulous things about layer cakes is the palette itself the pans are removable and you can mix and match them all around there's even now an empty palette so that you can create and customize the way that you display or have your own colors there's also stickers so that you can label them as well and although you can use them with any paintbrush at all I've also developed special sponges and brushes that are perfect for layer cakes because they're just a force unto themselves oh and you can also use the inside of the top lid as a palette and once you've finished mixing your colors there and if you wanted to clean that off just do it with a water and a sponge easy each of the layer cake palettes actually comes with a different brush some of them have two small brushes some have one larger brush this one the new food truck comes with this beautifully domed flat brush so you get a nice variety of shapes on these pages you can see some of the art that I've started to create with the new food truck palette here's another girl I just I love the skin tones we've got from light to dark it just in this palette alone and some of them to get the super bright clear color have got a little bit of uh, neon pigment in them which you don't notice unless you put a black light or one of my little rise and shine uh, UV lights that come with the fairy uh, dust pigment in the neons it's just a fun little secret that's in that palette as well I'm going to swatch out the colors for you and let's also create something I filmed this in a live stream on my Facebook page if you wanted to see the whole thing so I'm going to speed it up so that you can enjoy all of the colors splashing around really quickly each of the pans has two related colors sitting in it so we're starting with shaved ice which has two gorgeous blues then we move into slush puppy which are two gorgeous new turquoises next is fried pickles again completely new greens for the layer cakes greens are a lot of fun to make but they are quite difficult unless you really know your color theory uh, to get exactly the kind of green that you like so I'm always expanding the greens the purples the beiges uh, turquoise these are colors that are a little bit harder to mix um, with precision so this is why we love to have them conveniently in a palette uh, the so we've had our fried pickles was the first green more of a yellow or warm green the next is a very cool set of greens that's mushy peas the yellows are oh here we go popcorn so we've got a very light yellow at the top like a very rich cream and a beautiful bright lemon yellow uh, underneath it so it's got you can add a lot of warmth and how nice is the little brush that the little shapes the brush that comes with it makes next we come to the first of our neutrals or beiges or skin tones stuffed churro is really 
quite neutral as far as skin tones go veering slightly onto the cooler side you can use the lighter color as a highlight on darker skins or you can use it to create a lighter skin and of course all beiges and browns and neutral tones can also be used to paint animals and with landscapes or whatever else you need a neutral with the beauty of the neutrals is that they add a counterbalance to all of the, the next set of neutrals is we waffle pop these are you of course you can use these for skin tones and for mixing skin tones you can see that one's very very golden you could use that as a, a sun tan or someone that has a very golden skin and this beautiful deep red which of course you know comes as a skin tone for people but also gorgeous to add contouring and beautiful for hair colors as well really gorgeous auburn Ice Donuts has two new lilacs or mauves or we could just call one a lilac and one a mauve how about that I love using these for shading in the face but of course these colors exist in nature and are just lovely creatures we've also got cotton candy which is a combination of two super bright pinks veering on to the neon side of town and the last color in the collection is soft serve which is bright white and a very 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 light neutral uh, not with a pink edge though just with quite a neutral edge lovely for highlights I would refer to this as a, a whimsical color collection uh, very high on delicious tones hence the food truck actually well all of the layer cakes have a little bit of a, a food theme because deliciousness creaminess and irresistibility but of course we're not just limited to using the colors as they appear in the palette we can mix all of these colors and mix them with all of the other color palettes as well I just wanted to show you two special combinations that I've been finding very very useful I like to make a really dark intense what would we call this navy brown uh, by mixing waffle pop which has this lovely ready undertone in the brown like a chestnut kind of color and the shaved ice the darker portion of shaved ice uh, which has got a lovely it's a lovely cobalt blue color and it just together they make just such a lovely deep and dark that's why I didn't put a, a, a black or a super dark color in here because we can mix it with those two we can't always do that but we can with this we can also mix some really nice lipstick colors with the cotton candy pinks and a little bit of that uh, waffle pop or even the stuffed churro those two colors just neutralize those super brights that's a trick you can use with all of the colors in this palette and it will make a friend that those bright colors can bounce against Against, which just makes them appear more intricate more interesting and just have more life it's very very easy to mix that and I would just use uh, you can just mix them in the pan itself or in the mixing tray on the underside of the lid there but look at those beautiful neutral pinks it's like a whole nice new little world of pinks that we can mix together now when I started creating this face I had a little bit of the yellow from popcorn in the brush when I was doing my swatching and that's why I got this slightly warmer tone <laughs> as I was um, painting the face and I really loved it at the time so that's why I was just mixing those two just to start to chip into the details of this little face that I have peering through the flowers and I've used the darker mix that I've made uh, for the pupils and for the eyelashes and for little details as I go just so everything in here stays light and carefree and whimsical and bright I'm just adding I need some deeper tones but if I add pure black in there at this point it will really take attention from everything else so I can make a darker color with the colors that exist here and just just for something a little bit more interesting the brush that I'm using is from the brush ballet on point set which is a set of 11 round brushes that all come to a very 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 fine 
tip these are absolutely gorgeous brushes uh, don't judge them just on their beauty for the beautiful color handle they're actually fabulous brushes and they're wonderful with layer cake they just hold that point so you can get that detail happening but they still feel fluid and artistic we love a good brush this type of brush is lovely for lettering as well just get the right amount of water in your brush when you are doing your lettering just makes everything go a lot more smoothly i'm mixing colors and having fun i just and I've stuck just to the colors that are in the food truck palette because that's what this video is all about. But of course you can mix in all of the colors and you can mix these with watercolor and with markers and pencils and whatever else you like as well. And once everything is dry and you've finished for the time being, I would spray with some matte fixative. That would just hold everything in place. Think of the thicker applications of your layer cakes like you would with pastels or pencils or any um, of these dry finished water soluble art supplies will appreciate the help you give them with a matte fixative in sticking to the page and staying where you would like them to so that is the new food truck palette with all its delicious colors no calories just arty goodness you could only find these at janedavenport.com there's a little close-up of that dome shaped brush and those gorgeous gorgeous colors on my website you can see all of the different palettes there are videos images artwork examples galore of how they all work as a standalone thing and if you want to see them work in combination with everything else that i create well the best place to do that is wherever you find my videos facebook youtube instagram i'm in all the places thanks for watching